making me not say Evil's bed. I know it's confusing because look at him. He's the kind of person that can confuse your mind in that way. I know. <laughs> And welcome back to a brand new video. I look kind of gross and rough. I know, I've literally just come back from the gym and I got to meet with my like trainer lady and she was like, oh, have you been like the three to four times we discussed that you're gonna come in between our last session? And I had to explain to her that in fact, I had been zero times. Real proud moment for me there. So we are back in Windenburg today with the Villarreal household. Oh my gosh, my headphones have just turned into a horror story. Ah, stop doing that, that's horrible. Stop it. We are back with the Villarreal family today in Broken Dream. The reason is, of course, two googie eggs. This could be their final days together. We also got an aged up little phoenix in the last episode and then a little... How rude. How rude is Evie's feet? And then a little James Rooney also moved into the Villarreal household, which I'm happy about because I am a Jamie fan. Not everyone is. He's not to everybody's tastes. I would say he's definitely not the broccoli of the world because everyone loves broccoli. He's kind of like, I don't know, do you order sweet potatoes or do you order regular potato fries in a restaurant? Jamie's just sweet potato. Those of us who have taste go for the sweet potato, you know? But without further ado, guys, let's get into it. This episode has the potential to be very sad. If there is a death, I'm... Say I'm hoping there's not gonna be. It's kind of the storyline for today, but let's get into it, guys. Let's play some Broken Dream. Do you wanna see my groovy gym trousers? How cool are they? So it's decoration day two for another hour and a bit. We're nearly out of time. However, I have to decorate the houses for Christmas, you know? It's little Phoenix Six first Christmas, you guys. It's gonna be absolutely adorable. So, uh, can I have some light, please, game? Wow. Rude. Rude! Where is a good place for the tree? Because you'd kind of like this... This is like the room they spend the most time in, but this is the living room. But maybe like a tree in the hallway actually could be quite good. I don't really know. There's so much opportunity, isn't there? I like the whole vibe of decorating your own tree. However, because it's 2 a.m. in the morning, I might do the cheeks to root and just kind of place the tree already decorated, you guys. Although I kind of want Phoenix to decorate it. Huh. Also, where am I putting this tree? I'm kind of lost in this tree. There, there would make sense, but like there's a big light there. You know, I think I'm gonna pop a tree like here. I know it's a bit in the middle. It's very in the middle, isn't it? Let's not lie. But still, I kind of I want Phoenix to decorate her own, and then I'm gonna put another tree like underneath here, just like underneath that light. I think it's kind of groovy. And then I'm gonna just temporarily change our oh not the window, Claire. This little plant here is just gonna buzz me, um <laughs> buzz into the hallway for now because I'm gonna bang a tree in the corner as well. Trees everywhere, friendos. Like, I could put this weird, like, <laughs> look what I did to the fireplace, gang. It actually, you know what? It kind of works. <laughs> and I kind of like, I think because Phoenix is like a cute little googie, I do sort of feel like they'd go all out and just kind of go a little bit crazy for it. So I'm kind of going for that vibe. We're getting our Christmas on in the Villarreal household. I know today's meant to be a sad episode, but... That doesn't mean you can't still put loads of decorations everywhere. Oh, oh my gosh, should I have an outdoor Christmas tree too? Oh, this, that, this is gonna look so cool, look. It's the Villarreal Christmas tree. It's the saddest series with the most tragedy, but also we sure do a lot of cute stuff. Okay, so we've got some cute little lights around the door. Things are looking adorbs outside, can I just say? That even, even though the house is a little spooky looking, it's still looking very cute in the snow, isn't it? One thing that I'm sort of hating is like, why do we suddenly switch to like panels up here? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I want it as brick, okay? I don't mind the panel bit in the middle, but let's just bang a bit of brick on top. I'm not really like vibing panels, you know? You don't really get panels on houses. And this is in the in Europe, you don't really get panels on houses. And I kind of get the vibe that this is meant to feel like a European house. Okay, I think we're doing a pretty good job of making the house look real Christmassy. I need the like boxo decorations. It's definitely not called boxo decorations. <laughs> But still, I'm, they're probably gonna have to do it tomorrow, but I'm at least gonna get it in place. And then, these are like Hanukkah stuff. Ooh, gifts, large pile of presents. No one ever sits in that chair, so I'm gonna use that as the present storage area. Oh guys, it's looking so darn cute. 
Oh man, it's like kind of making me actually like miss Christmas or like want Christmas to come even though it's literally August. Okay, I think we can say they have gone all out on this Christmas vibe and I'm kind of loving them for it. The Villarreal household, even though you know inside there's so much sadness. It looks so adorable, like, look at this. <gasps> oh, and Emma's very sad, okay. Yet again, I've totally missed the mood, haven't I? Because her sister died. Her twin sisters just died and I'm just like, holiday hype, guys, it's Christmas. And Emma's like, can you literally be more disrespectful? Please, just try it. Try to be more disrespectful, okay? She's literally crying in bed. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. It's all very sad. I'm gonna get them to sleep and see if we can kind of help with some moods. I've just realized I have one more little bit of decorating to do. You guys, you guys, you guys. Oh my gosh, Jamie, Jamie's here. I'm missing the mood again, I'm sorry, but I'm just excited. Jamie and Lilith living together, sleeping in the same bed. Wait, not sleeping in the same bed. Jamie, that's Abel's bed. You've missed, you've completely misinterpreted this situation. You didn't move in here to spend the rest of your life with Abel. I know it's confusing because look at him. He's the kind of person that can confuse your mind in that way. I know. I totally understand that. However, you came here to live with Lilith. I can totally understand where the confusion lies though. Also, Abel, your child's outside at 2 a.m. in the snow with a filthy dog looking real cold. And also, your child has no room, so. This is still a very, very much a toddler's room. We need to make some changes to give her a little bit more of a child's room. And some of you guys had a nice idea, which I like, which is somebody needs succulent hype. Like clearly somebody needs to get on this succulent hype game. Why don't we make it this little googie here? And I'm like, yes. Yes, we should. You were kind of saying like succulents and black. She is our probably our most gothic sim, like her and Macy, I would say. So I need to find like black beds. That's kind of probably the right vibe, isn't it? It makes sense that she would be dark and twisty because she's been through a lot of stuff, you know? And we can get rid of some of the more toddler stuff because she's not gonna need that anymore. Okay, let's see what I can do about changing the colors of some stuff in here then. Making things a little bit more gothic-y. Okay, I've gone very blah. So it was like, do black and succulents. It's my vibe. And I sort of feel like it would be her vibe too. So that's kind of what I've tried to do. Swap out that rug. Hopefully you guys like it. I've given her like a succulent wall here. The bed to me feels totally wrong now though. She needs like that kind of a bed. Okay. Oh wow, that's super gothy, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. Can I change out the color of this at all? Oh, I can't. I kind of like that little canopy over the end though. Maybe, I don't know. I used to have like a bunk bed like this. Oh, there it is. So now I was kind of thinking if I do this instead, then can I put like a little desk under there? Would it work? It might be a little bit too small. I think it's too small. Oh, that's a shame. Never mind, that's still pretty cool, right? Not really vibing this anymore though. Although that's quite cool. That's kind of dark and twisty. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this sort of icy one. It's very seasonal as well. And then I feel like she's a cat person. I just do paint that black. I think we're looking pretty good now. Okay, let me know what you think. I, oh, this just looks wrong. It just doesn't look right to me. Is there something else I can put there? Ooh, look at that. That's pretty gothic, isn't it? Oh, it's so spooky. Okay, let's see what she makes of it. Oh my gosh, look at this book. Look at this book. Where's my, where's my sims at? Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't click on anyone. <gasps> and I can't go back to build or buy mode or live mode. What is this bug? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I can't, I can't do anything. What's happening? What's happening? I can't even get inside the house. Oh no, I can't. Where, can I like click on somebody? Evil help me, April, why you just sleep and not help? Oh my gosh, what even is this bug? I can't click anything. I can't click anything. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. My game just crashed and I lost everything and that took me half an hour. What is even happening game? Why? Why would you even do this to me? What is wrong with you? That's so annoying. Like, I actually want to have a little cry right now. All oh, the Christmas trees and everything too. No! So glad I um, get to do this all over again. 
Makes me real happy. Can you tell? Literally, this game since season has been bug heaven. It's been really bad. Trying to remember everything we had. Hopefully I get it red. Ooh, we had a little wreath, didn't we? Loki though, I actually like that tree more than what we had before, so... Everything worked out better than expected. I like the idea of some parents being like, Abel, why would you let your child have a room that was all black and succulents? And Abel being like, my baby is, if she wants to be dark and twisty, she can be dark and twisty. She can be whatever she wants to be, okay? Plus, Abel, like, low-key, very cute and sweet, but also kind of dark and twisty, you know? Don't take that away from him. I can't remember what we had here, so... Just put a little table and chair so she can do her homework and whatnot. Right, please, please, please. Can I save here? Okay, I can save here. Thank gosh. I don't want to do that again. Let's see if this works this time. Okay, we're all good this time. We are all good this time. Let's get everybody into bed. Hopefully Jamie is not gonna try and follow Abel into bed this time. Easy, easily done, gang, easily done. <coughs> Okay, so there we go. The outside of the house is at least looking pretty cool again. Uh, close it up, please. Rude. The little googie is heading into- I switched it for the really black bed just because I thought it was kind of cool. And everybody's getting themselves a little bit of sleep. Oh no, Emma's up again. She's had an awful holiday, probably because her twin died. And she's mourning the death of a loved one. Oh, Emma. How much time do you have left, my love? <gasps> Two! So what did we decide the final book was gonna be? Was it gonna be oh. Good Night, Little Light, or was that her Every first day. one? Sleep tight, Little Night? Um, bye, Little Light. I don't know, what did we say it was gonna be? I'll have a think. I'll have a think about what it could be. If we done Shine Bright, Little Light, that could be quite cute. Oh wow, look how good friends Lilith was with Emily. My, my family are all so close. That's what makes it so sad. I think this is the first time seeing these two asleep in this bed. Of course, little Lily Bear's all sad, but I love this couple. I absolutely love them. Oh, Paul, is she scratching as well? Not only is she sad, but she has flea bejeebies. Not ideal. Oh, Lily Bear. Oh, Jamie, you're gonna have to do some, some comforts of her. Abel, I'm noticing. Abel's not that sad. He's not as sad as I would expect to say that he was also good friends with Emily. Little bit concerned in there, Abel. Do you have work? You're an early riser. Oh no. Guys, what's happening? What's happening? Come up. <gasps> okay. <gasps> oh, what's going on with your job, Abel? What's happening there? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, my game is so broken. My game is actually so broken. I can't even- Oh, what? Now yours has gone back to normal again, but yours oh, hasn't. Yeah, look. Oh, look, it's Abel, the grade C student. Yeah, yeah everybody's good. job's messed up. <gasps> Guys, okay. At least we've got- Even Lucky's promotion tasks are messed up. We've got an extra income in the house. I don't even know. Like, are these guys going to be able to go to work? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. My game is really funny today. Abel, why don't you go for like a nice little early morning jog? And Lily Bear, I think maybe jogging with Miko might help you as well. But let's hear about waking up because your dog's naughty. Like literally, Miko is such a little cheeky one. And then you're meant to be working out as part of your job, which is currently showing there's an ace engineer. That's a lot of strange. Maybe you should go for, or go for a wee and then also go for a jog. So there we go. No waking up able, okay? Miko has learned not to wake up Sims. And then I said to get a comforting hug from your dog. Oh, Miko may be cheeky, but he's also pretty good at telling when somebody needs a little bit of comfort. Ah, little baby. Oh, little babykins. Super, super cute. Okay, I know you hate exercising, Lily Bear. I am going to go ahead and ask you to go for a jog. Okay, Jamie is up. He's also sad. How, how well did you know Emily to be so sad? I don't even know. You knew Jessica a little bit? Sort of unusual, but okay. Why don't you go ahead and cook everybody breakfast? You're probably the most, you should be the happiest in yourself compared to everybody else. Why don't you cook everybody like some pancakes to cheer them up and sort of be like, thanks for letting me move into your house. I'm gonna prove that I'm, I'll be a good googie egg for you guys, okay? Even empty out this gross coffee for them. So we've got Abel, oh good, this has put him in the energized mood. Okay, the dog jogging is definitely helping Abel. He's feeling energized, he's feeling good. He's pulling a poor little uh, leak here along. How about you, Lilith? 
Okay, yeah, Lilith just really hates jogging, you guys. <laughs> she really hates exercise. Lily Bear, I completely feel you there, my love. I think it's gonna take poor little Emma though a while to like, how do you even get over losing your twin? It's so sad. Little Max is trying to make her feel a little bit better. Trying to cheer her up and just say like, you might have lost Emily, but you still have me. On that subject, Max, how long do you have left? You also have two days. Okay, so they, we're gonna go lose out. both of them on the same day. Very, very sad. I'm also kind of sad that we're gonna lose incomes in a house that's very, very expensive to keep. Okay, so we've got pancakes for all. Why don't we go ahead and call everybody to the meal? Little Fee has woken up feeling sad, but also looking very at home in her room. I like her room. I love succulents and stuff. I'm kind of enjoying her vibe. Oh, look at this. Look outside the window at the snow. Like, I think her room seems really cozy. Like, it would be nice to be in it. Like, with all the succulents and then, like, the little snow outside. <gasps> I love watching snow. Like, I can just sit and watch snow. I think it's so pretty. But, Jamie, maybe, maybe you have to sort of cover yourself up a little bit. It's a bit much walking around the house in your Calvins. It might be beautiful scenes, Jamie, but still, and you're in a flirty mood. I'm gonna ask you to put some clothes on, okay? You just need to put- Okay, you you can't be like this, Jamie. You just can't be like this. Really appreciate that you've made everybody breakfast, but still. And people seem to be liking his pancakes. Okay, they're normal quality. They're not bad, they're just normal. Phoenix, I'm noticing, is kind of playing with her food. Not doing a great deal of Eating. She's feeling pretty down. I think maybe we need to get some tree decorations. It's a bit of a way to perk up her mood a little bit. Because she is definitely looking very Wednesday Adams right now. Not just in looks, but in the way she's acting as well, I would say. Some of you guys have made the good point that she doesn't yet have the Villarreal lips. She could get them as a teenager, but right now her lips are a little bit smaller, aren't they? Oh, Abel, you're gonna wee yourself, friendo. Let's get you into this toilet ASAP. Ooh, royalties, okay. We've already had good night, little light, burn bright, little right, light. That's right, little light, shine bright, little light. Pat the badger, pat the badger. <laughs> Hold tight, little light, and then what could, so could be a final one be? I don't know. I need to have a think. None is springing to mind right now, though. Okay, Abel, why don't we go ahead and get everybody together to decorate this tree, okay? Let's go for popcorn and cranberries because I just don't really know what it is and I'm kind of excited by it. Okay, so this is nice. A little family tree decoration together. Very, very cutesy. Uh, Lily Bear, I need you to get involved as well, my love. You're still eating your pancakes, sadly. Oh my gosh, you're caught in a blizzard? What? How did this even happen? Where are the dogs? Oh my gosh, where is... What? <sighs> to be honest, any other dog and I'd be concerned, but this is a husky. Or is it a Malamute? I actually think that they might be Malamutes. I feel like it's going to be okay. I feel like he's gonna be okay. How about, um, Lakia? No, that's Lakia, sorry. Where's Miko? Okay, both the dogs are pretty much loving the fact that they're in the snow. But I've kind of heard that about Huskies and Malamutes. They'll quite happily sit in the snow. So I'm not too worried. They've, the island is theirs. The island is their playground, so they're fine. It's Lilith I'm worried about because it's taken her an awful long time just to get to here. Oh, and she's on a butt. Come on, Lily Bear, let's get you into the warmth, please. You're gonna miss the tree decorations. Look, they're almost on to the next section. These adorable family scenes are just a little bit lost with our um, Lily Bear, you know? She needs to be here. I am liking the fact, though, that we've got a little first crimbo with B and with Abel. Abel with his new tattoo to celebrate her as well. She's not really getting that involved though, I'm noticing. There's a lot of standing around moping and crying. Not a great deal of tree decoration. I don't know, maybe maybe she needs someone like Auntie Lily Bear to come and take her to her side and try and make her feel real good, guys. Oh, I think Emma's just gone to work. Okay, so jobs are still working. Oh, Lily Bear, you're gonna miss the whole thing. Where are the rest of the decorations though? I'm noticing there's not a great deal of decorations on this tree. Am I just missing them? Where the tr where's the tree skirt? Like, what's going on? Guys, this is this is a poor attempt at decorating a tree, okay? Let's place some presents under there too. Oh my gosh. 
And Emma is late for work because she can't make it through the blizzard. What? Oh my gosh. She's literally been an hour and ten from here to here. That's how late for work she is. The blizzard really messes things up, doesn't it? Why is everyone just stood around laughing at the garbage tree? <laughs> but, like, they're really impressed. Like, oh, 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 we're so great at decorating. All you did was put a star on top. Like, literally, you went there for three hours. And you just went... Done. And they're like, oh, I'm so, so proud. I'm, I'm such an artist. Ooh, who's texting? Oh, I need to get out the house, says Kira, to Jamie. Maybe not. So I'm going to leave the weird boyos just staring at their absolute garbage tree. Oh, nice uncle showage there. Little hairy ankles, Jamie. Enjoying that. Abel, your uncles are bald. But while the boys are in there just staring at their pretty trash tree... The girlies are in here in the firelight, and little Lily Bear has taken little uh, Fee aside just to try and cheer her up, play a little bit of chess with her, be like good auntie. She knows that she's feeling really sad and really low, and also really, this little googie doesn't have like a, a mother figure in her life, so that role kind of falls to Lilith. And as much as you would have thought Lilith would be the kind of girl that would, she's not really that into kids. I think having Phoenix as like her little almost surrogate daughter sort of thing is is changing her mind on stuff and making her actually quite warm to the idea. Although, where are you going? Aren't you meant to be doing the the game of chess? What's going on in your little your little rabbit shippers running off? Oh my gosh, guys, my game's done the thing again. It's done it again. What is happening? Why does it keep doing this? Ah! Is there any way to like reset things? I, I can't. Look. Nothing. All, All I can I do is camera, camera controls. controls. What, what is, is even, even going, going on? on? What, what is, is going, going on? on? Okay, I've updated MCC. Hopefully things are gonna be a little better now. I also disabled monsters into the bed straight away because it's the most hateful thing about the game. A job, however, still broken. <laughs> I don't know if that's the gallery update that's done that. It's freaking me out. I am gonna start the day in the same way though because I like that Jamie cooked everybody pancakes. It made me really happy, okay? And I like that they've actually made a much better effort decorating the tree this time. That makes me happy because the the tree was so trash last time that that's when I should have realized something was wrong with my game when my tree literally just had a top on it oh my gosh how bent is that like are you kidding me guys take that off do it again that looks terrible oh, I hate that that actually looks so garbage and is she changing all the decorations is that actually oh my gosh what have you just done to our tree no look at it it looks terrible oh we have to decorate again now don't we thanks for that phoenix i also kind of like that they're all decorating in the pajamas there's something kind of cute about that isn't there okay that looks better that looks better please don't sabotage it this time and can we get a better topper on top please because the last one was the worst thing i've ever seen that's better oh my gosh Oh my gosh. How does she always worm her way back in? I can't get you out of my mind right lately. Wanna go on a date and get some lunch at the Firewood Brown Grill? Should I bring Phoenix? <gasps> I don't even get the option. Literally, that was like, uh, Abel, I wanna go on a date. Don't bring my daughter. For God's sake. For God's sake. Let's just go and see what she has to say, okay? Wow, okay. <laughs> We could actually accidentally kill her here if we're not careful. Because she is really, really cold. <gasps> and it's done it again. It's done it again. It's actually just gone and done it again. So they're interacting and I can't even see what's going on. And I can't influence them at all. Can I even get him to go inside from the snow? He could die here if we're not careful. What is with this new bug? I actually hate it so much. Wow. Well, I guess that's one way to know that we don't... what. What is happening? Okay, this is probably the most broken my game's ever been. This is very worrying. Who, what's, what's this? What's this little thing here? Is this some sort of like out of body experience? It's like, hmm, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about wine and coffee. Who was saying this though? Who was saying this? I'm just gonna go and record there and say Ashley broke my game. Ashley 
literally broke my game. Okay, it knows Abel's still at the Firewood Barn Grill, so I ain't even risking it and going there. I'm staying at home. Okay, so now that we're back at home, I know the clothes are slightly different, but I'm getting this show back on the road. I think this is kind of where we left things. I just can't egg enter build and buy mode, so just don't let me do that because I'll travel. Because they seem to be the things that breaks my game. Jamie's playing with the dogs, you guys. Jamie's playing with the dogs. I'm posing. Jamie flexing what? them ups. I see you, boy. I see you. What? Why are you in Abel's room again? I think low-key Jamie's in love with Abel and has been pretending to be in love with Lilith this whole time. Just to get here. I'm kidding. Abel only loves me, Shep. I say as he's literally on a date with another woman. Literally heartbreaker, Ashley. I told you it would be really hard for her to, like, for him to get his claws. What am I saying? It would be really hard for him to break out of the Ashley spell. She has her claws really, really deep into him. And she ain't letting go. But little Phoenix, when you finish that game, Grandpa would like to show you that he is putting decorations on the house. Max, you need to be really, really careful though, okay? Because you're old and decorations are dangerous. So they just play it chill, okay? He is making me a little nervous because everything's a little bit more old and creaky than it should be, isn't it? Oh, but I love this little bond between those two. I, I like this weird, dark and twisty family, guys. They make me happy because they're not the norm, but they're kind of amazing anyway. Can I, like, interact with the fire, by the way? Can I, like, cook a cup of cocoa? I can warm myself. Okay, that's not really cooking a cup of cocoa, is it? Oh! You guys, could you be any cuter? And Max, how is these decorations looking, friendo? Let's have a look at the house. <gasps> okay, we've got some little icicles hanging down from the spandrels. Loving that. That's swell. <gasps> and Phoenix and Lilybear just became good friendos. Oh, look at her warming herself in front of the fire. How gooky is that? Ooh, and Emma's wrote a new book that everybody loves. And she found a believable way to bring back a character from the dead. Turns out his death was fake to bring the team together. Medium performance gain. Well done, Emma. So little Phoenix is chit-chatting away with Grandpa. I want him to get pictures together. Ask about being old. Oh my gosh, that's so cheeky. But still very, very cute. Max is, of course, the star of all dark and twistiness with the Villarreal family, so I feel like these two would get along very, very well. Where did you guys just go? Okay, okay, so Lilith and Jamie are making good use of the fact that they live together for easy and speedy woo-woos. It is just woo-woos. It is just woo-woos, you guys. Don't worry. I think they can still autonomously decide to uh, try for a baby if they want to, but... I'd rather they not do it without my permission, you know? Okay, I think she's having a little sleep. A little bit of a sleep after all those woo-woos. And now she's very focused. Were the woo-woos good, Lilith? Pleasantly satisfied. Yes, they were. They're at least keeping the sadness that she's feeling to one side. And she's feeling good because she beat Phoenix at the chess mask. I mean, literally Phoenix is, what, nine? So you shouldn't feel that happy about that, Lilith. That's just kind of like what I would expect. But I keep forgetting that that Lilith is technically a genius. She's like, actually, are you, are you guys joking? Are you woohooing again? Oh my gosh. Oh, you, you guys need to be off camera. The children are right outside, okay? <gasps> and oh my gosh, Abel is home and he's in a blizzard and he's not dressed appropriately. Abel, get inside right now. What is going on between you and... I was like, what's going on between you and Ashley then? I come to this panel and I see himself. And that's when I realize my game is bugged out again. Okay, he still <laughs> lovers with Ashley, you guys. He's literally still Lilith, lovers with her. Lilith's with her? No. I, oh, wait, I need to get these guys inside or else they're gonna die. Evie has never called. Like, literally, Evie's never called the whole time. I was kind of hoping she might, but she hasn't. <gasps> and oh my gosh, Abel! Abel, get inside now! <gasps> Oh, my baby cat died, my baby cat died. Abel, get inside the house, get inside the house, get inside the house. The walks of Villarreal Mansion is actually so dangerous. Abel, get inside. And also, Emma. Emma's hardier. Like, she doesn't seem to be as much in trouble. Abel really is. Abel. Oh, my poor little cold baby. Abel, get inside. Okay, please warm up again. Please warm up. Are you warming up? Is the house set to hot? Okay, the house is set to hot. Oh. Oh my gosh, I knew there was going to be a death this episode. Did not think it could be Abel. What? This child with glasses on is just asked Max if he fancies getting dinner. 
No, strange child, I don't. <gasps> Max just became good friends with Phoenix. Okay, I am gonna get Emma to write a final book in her series. I just don't know what to call it. It needs to be something little light. Good night. Oh, we've already had good night. Ah, this is hard. It will be all right, little light. Oh, she knows it's a book for when she dies. Her final little book. Can I like order all of her books online or something? Like where are the books she's written? Like how do I get those? How I dumped your father. Well, okay. I don't know how to get like her books. How do I do that, guys? Okay, I'm gonna look up how I can make sure I get the books. But in the meantime, enjoy Phoenix. little Abel tutoring Phoenix. Phoenix on her homework, which is kind of hilarious because because um, Lilith and Abel were garbage at school. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Lilith might be a genius, but not in any ways that I understand. Oh my gosh, so apparently when you finish the book, you have to make a copy of it there and then. Or else that's it, you just never get it. I swear in the older Sims games, you could like buy a copy of all your books. This seems really unfair. Okay, so she's finished that book, so I'm gonna... Wait. How do I get her to make a copy of that then? This is confusing. Okay, I actually have it in my inventory. Okay, okay, okay. We won't sell this one to a publisher then. Instead, I will leave it in Phoenix's room for her so that she can read it once we've gone. I think that's it. It will be all right, little light. Okay, you guys, it's there. It's there. And after, <laughs> I love that Jamie's reason like, oh, it's, it's a blizzard outside. What should we do with ourselves? We shall woo all day, for there is nothing else to do. I feel like that's kind of just what he's done. And it says, look, that Lilith is investigating a weird light. What does that even mean? Don't get abducted by aliens. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what are these? What are these? Is that where you... No. I literally fell for that so hard. Look, Lakey has realised... Okay, so Lilith has been abducted by aliens. Great. I had no idea there was like a light before that happened. Oh, look at the lake you're waiting. I didn't realize that, that I thought like they just randomly got abducted by aliens, but it does seem like there's a little light and then you get abducted by aliens. So that's great. Well, that's going to mess with her uh, sleep schedule. Something fierce, isn't it? Oh, and she's back. She is back home again and she's dazed from being zapped and jolted. Great. Just what you need when you're trying to get over the death of your aunt. Aliens. Literal aliens. <gasps> oh my gosh, Abel does have work in an hour. Even though I can't see his work, he does have it in an hour. Which is great, because I did want him to do his work. So, is the pan are the pancakes been left out or are they in the fridge? Like, can you grab some? Oh, there's some scrambled eggs. And <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, she won't leave us alone. She won't leave us alone. She knows it'll be up for work, so she wants to go for a date. No thanks, Ashley, okay? Just because both our names begin with A doesn't mean you have to do whatever you say. Did you like that? And little Phoenix, you're at school today. Are you going to try and meet some cool friendos, okay? I think mum and dad still have a whole day left to live. So, you know, I think we're good for a day of school. I do want her to go to school and meet some little friendos. So I'm happy with that. And what are these two doing? You've been woo-woo-win again. What is even wrong with you guys? I, literally, I have risky woo-woos on. Okay, I can't get her to do a pregnancy test though. So they seen to have avoided the risk for now. Let me check what my risk percentage is. It's 8%. Eight, 8 it's kind of high. I'm actually surprised we've not had any danger. Oh, for God's sake. Of course, of course, there's a fire. Lilith in here now. Extinguish your mail. It is what she does best, you guys. It is literally what she does best. Like you guys say, it's not a Sims, a Claire Sims episode without a fire. And you are so right. You are so right. Look at Max making vegetable tempura for breakfast. Treat yourself. You literally treat yourself. Okay, Lilith's going to work having practice before her job. I feel like that should be grounds for a promotion, but okay. I'm gonna get this little bun bun to make some friendos. Lily bear, schmooze with your boss. Tell him about your fire this morning, okay? And this is where I would ordinarily send Max and Emma on a date because like they're towards the end of their life. And I also wanted to get them to go and see Emily's gravestone today. But like, I can't. 
done. I can't do that because my stupid game will crash. I am gonna go ahead and take a vacation day for both of them. Oh no, you don't, you don't, you don't even need to go to work today, so you're all good. But I want Max to spend his day at home with Emma, okay? Ooh, and Phoenix met Augustine at school. Well done, Fee. But even if we can't go anywhere, oh. even if we can't go I'll to, oh look at that, a beautiful royalties. Oh. Even if we can't oh. go to Emily's grave, oh, oh my gosh, are you actually both sick? Oh. I still would like you guys to have a beautiful oh. day. Hanging out together, just you two. Buying some medicine. Jamie, can you buy these poor old folks some medicine? Jamie's loving the fact that he lives with dogs now, by the way. Oh, look at him cleaning. Oh my gosh, how cute is he? How cute is he? Okay, you poor little lovebirds. I do have you some medicine. So let's get you some medicine out. There you go. Take this, you'll feel so much better. Look at Jamie just tidying up around the house. I actually love him so much. And then I just kind of want these two to have a beautiful day. Hanging out together. Remembering why they may have been the most turbulent couple of the series. But they are also still my favorite couple of the series, I think. I actually love them. If you guys remember as well, the same bar that um, little Lilith and Jamie like met for the first time and ended up kissing for the first time, when Lilith was still a teenager, is also the same bar that these guys met with each other again when Emma went to go and get Lilith, I think. And then they kind of like did this. Being all cute to each, with each other, and then they rekindled their love. They're so cute. They are actually so cute. They kill me, which is kind of sad because I'm gonna be killing them when I keep playing this game and they get old. So you know. Oh guys, you're so cute. Ah! I actually love them so much. Jamie, you're kind of killing this for me. I've got to say, go and take the dogs that you clearly love so much on a walk, okay? Why can't you walk two dogs at the same time? Why does it feel like with this game sometimes they kind of like have an idea but they don't really follow it through, you know? What are you guys doing now? Oh my gosh, they're actually just kissing and stuff all on their own, being cutie pies. Okay, so Jamie's being good boy, taking Doggo out for the walk. Abel got back from work and he's in a real bad mood. Abel, you seem to die in the cold quite quickly, so I am going to ask you to just move your butt inside, please. You hate the bad environment. Is that because we've got stupid trash plants? How do I remove trash plants? Like, I actually hate them so much. Harvest trash fruit. What does that even mean? I hate them. How do I kill them, guys? Oh, Can I not kill them now? Like, is that it? Abel, come inside and warm yourself, my poor little bun bun. Oh my gosh, these guys are upstairs proving that just because you're old does not mean the spa needs to die in your relationship and they are in a super flirty mood together swan dive into a pool oh my gosh that's literally what she wants to do right now i don't think jumping into a pool is probably the wisest thing in this weather in fact is your pool frozen over you could actually swan dive into the pool if you wanted to however i would not advise it we saw you sneaking in there don't be all sneaking out you guys are just as romantic now as you have ever been i actually love it do be careful though because you're old and you know these things are dangerous when you're old oh look at that phoenix met joseph at school as well i need to age up joseph don't i i will do that okay phoenix is back home from school i would like her to spend some time <gasps> oh my gosh <laughs> this woman actually blows my mind she wants to meet her daughter for the first time since leaving home the place she has chosen to meet her is a nightclub. Like, Abel will not allow that. You can't meet your child for the first time at a nightclub. Ashley, what is wrong with you? I feel like you're just a party girl that's never been taught normal behavior because you are mental. You are actually mental. No, Ashley. How have you called me four times this episode? Through different sims. You've called me through all these different sims. I don't even understand you right now. Did you guys just woo-woo again? Why is this the love episode? Oh my gosh. So this is a scene very reminiscent of little Lilith. Oh my gosh. Like if I actually had a picture comparing these two, you can see a lot of Lilith in her, but these two and a younger Max and Lilith is actually so, so cute. But this little gig is just spending a little bit of time with grandma and grandpa. We're watching some, oh, very, wow, very old TV together and just catching up with the two of them. Because we just have that all left with them, you guys. Everybody is sick, so got these two to come and grab some medicine and Abel's cooking a nice dinner for everybody together. 
Just like a little, a little treat for his uh, mum and dad. Oh my gosh, I called Emma his mum. I guess after all this time, guys, she kind of is his mum, isn't she? I think she has now at this point spent more of her life as his caregiver, as his actual mum did. And oh my gosh, Abel, oh no, this is, oh my gosh, Fatima, we've not seen you in ages. I can't, I can't, we're doing nice dindins, okay? Oh, well done, Abel. No fires, no nothing, just some good old Italian meatballs. Look at them artichokes. And what's going on with the dog? Why is the dog doing this? What does that mean? I'm so confused right now. The dog seems to be able to sense something. That's making me nervous. There we go. We've got a nice family meal together. I kind of feel bad for Jamie. He's still outside walking the dogs. He's also given everybody else his medicine and now he is sick. A little bit awkward. But for everybody else, we're inside eating some Italian meatballs. Just kind of thinking about how much of a wonderful family we are, really. And I know for some of the other families, like, I've kind of invited everybody around for the death. I kind of feel like I'm going to keep it just Villarreal's tomorrow. Keep it a little bit more low-key. Oh, they're just doing, like, cute family chime everywhere, guys. I do, everybody in the household is actually just in the same room hanging out, even the dogs. Just chit-chatting, helping with our little volcano project. Oh, look how cute she looks like, surrounded by her family. Looking at Lilith, I literally think for her, Lilith is like goals. She's like, I want to be like Auntie Lilith when I grow up. She's really cool. Phoenix finished her project quickly. Extra credit has been awarded. And look, she's got a little volcano. She finished it so quickly because like everybody was helping her. Okay, let's see the reaction. Wow, it's so gross. All over the floor. Great. Okay, put it in your inventory for tomorrow and then you need to go to bed, my little Ben Ben. And then these guys are just sort of celebrating. Just enjoying life downstairs at the bar. We've got sweet and spices. We've got beers. We all good. Emma has been the bar lady. Oh, and I love this song. It's nice. They're all just kind of hanging out. It's not like a sad end to life. It's like a fun one. After all their like turbulent life and... The relationship ended, Mark's been a jerk, Mark's not being a jerk and getting back together again of um, Abel joining the family, Abel and Lilith having like a really nice relationship. It's just nice, it's actually just nice and I love this family so much. Well done little Emma, my little tomboy, you literally smashed life, well done. And you're smashing them grooves as well, love it. No days left to live. No days left to live. I, like, the timing of death, I don't understand. I just don't know what it, oh my God, look how it happened. I just don't know when they go. So I just have to like keep an eye on them and stay close to them. But at least they're all having fun. And I'm glad Jamie joined the gang. Oh my gosh, even in a party, Jamie's like, you know that one person at the party that's like trying to find the cat to play with? Which usually me. JV is that person as well. You've kind of got a feel for Abel though, because on the one hand, you've got like Emma with her amazing words, like reciting poetry for Max. Over here, you've got these two lovebirds literally just staring in each other's eyes, being super romantic and amazing. And then you've got Abel, all on his own. We've actually texted him non-stop. He still can't get over her, but he knows she's not right for him. And he's just kind of a little bit lost, you guys. Oh my gosh. Guys, you're not making this very fair on him. Guys, guys, guys. Literally everywhere I look, there's low-key shade being thrown at Abel right now. It's kind of ironic that we're listening to Nelly hot in here. When it literally is getting hot in here for everybody except Abel. Okay, bye guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for being super sociable with your little brother. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. Fine. Bye. Bye. I mean, they're allowed. They are allowed. It is their last night on earth. And I guess it's just you and Lake here, Abel. I mean, you're making the best of a bad situation. You and the dogs can hang out together. <laughs> he's not letting it get to him, even though a bit deep down he's like, this hurts my soul. It hurts my soul as well, Abel, okay? Okay, I've decided to make him feel better. I will let him drink all of the remaining drinks in the whole house. In fact, he's doing them at the same time. I don't know what he's expecting to find in the bottom, but he's going for it. Work for Abel starts in an hour. Abel, Abel baby, what have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Oh my gosh, they love that closet woo-woo life, you guys. I've also just realized it doesn't matter how much these guys woo-woo, there's no chance of um, an accidental baby 
because there's already eight sims in the household. So it could never happen, friends. Abel, stop drinking all the drinks. I think he's not the kind of sim that enjoys being a single Pringle. In fact, he's definitely not the kind of sim that enjoys being a single Pringle. Okay, guys, so here we go. Last day on Earth. Max is having a flirty poop for himself. I'm gonna get them to go to sleep because they've been up for all night dancing and woo-boo-in and all of that crap. Oh, she's got anticipation from open presents tomorrow. Is that literally where we are in the calendar? Oh, it is the day before Christmas. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're going to die on Christmas Eve. They're going to die on Christmas Eve, you guys. How sad is that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. If what does that even mean? Everybody. Oh my gosh. Oh. Emma's gone, Emma's gone, Emma's gone. Emma's gone. Max, get off the PC. Get off the PC. Oh, everybody's out the house apart from Max and Emma. It's kind of horrible, but honestly, if I was a parent, I wouldn't want my, ki my kids to see me die. I wouldn't want my kids to see me die. So it's just, oh my gosh, the groomy puss literally in the corner of the room. That freaked me out. It's literally just Max that's here to see Emma die. And Emma died first. Oops, sorry, Emma. Not a very flattering shot of you there. Guys. Oh. My little Emma. My little Emma. All of my children now, except the immortal James, are gone. And now Max is gone. And now Max is gone. And now Max is gone. At least they kind of had a party before they died. That's it. That's the end of Emax. That's the end of Emax. Oh, look at him. Dying, feeling like a widower. The dogs have come in, looked at the Grim Reaper and been like, uh, he better not be our new dog walker. Guys, Max as well. How handsome is he even in death? Oh my gosh, I love him so much. I literally don't care about your stupid emails, okay? I care about my MX and the fact that they're gone. My similar runes are all dying all over the place. It's just James now. There's like silver linings. At least there's now, if if we do decide to go for a Jilleth baby, we can do. But at the expense of MX, that's what had to happen. Oh, this one's actually got to me a little bit more. I loved those two so much. I actually loved them so much. They were like, I think in terms of their ups and downs, they were like our most realistic couple. And they were just good. And I think Emma was maybe our first ever step parent, potentially. And that's it. They're gone. They're just taken away from us. <gasps> He's gone, guys. He's gone too. Oh my gosh, they're gonna come home and both their parents will be dead. What even is that? Get out of our house, Grim. We hate you. We literally hate you. You need to leave. You need to stop taking my family, okay? I think Abel gets home from work first because he finishes work first. Actually, I'm low-key so happy that no one was at home because I don't think people should... Like, your family shouldn't have to see you die if you don't want that to be the case. But I wouldn't want my children and my grandchildren to see me, like, fall on the floor and die. Uh, Grim, what are you doing? You and your black smoke need to leave. Abel, come and tell him to just go away. So Abel is the first one home to see what's happened. <gasps> my little baby Babel. He's lost his mom and dad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Especially, like... Oh, Max and Abel. Oh my gosh. He could call forth the ghost. Oh, now he's mourning Emma too. Who initially, like, he really struggled with her being a part of his life. But I think by the end of it, he definitely saw her as a mother. Oh, and look at that. Straight away, Connor wants to know if we want to meet him someplace. Connor, you're such a good friend, though. Oh, and because little Abel is the first one home, the spirit hasn't quite left yet. And he gets to say goodbye to his dad. Oh, it's too sad. It is literally too sad. Oh my gosh. And the ghost of Max is mourning Emma. This shouldn't be allowed, okay? It's just too sad. I don't think you should bring home a classmate tonight, Augustine, okay? But what little Phoenix can do is come upstairs. Bit of a tragic cover you've picked there, Emma. But this is like the final book she ever wrote for Phoenix. And it was meant to help guide her on a path of 
sadness now that Emma has gone. So she's reading It'll Be Alright Little Light and she'll still have all the books and all the memories that Emma made for her. Some of you guys have suggested that maybe little, um, oh. Maybe little Phoenix would want to become a writer after Emma, especially because she's got a whole book series dedicated to her. And I do like that idea. So guys, I'm sorry it's been another sad Emma's episode. That is the end of Amazing Emma. As a couple that wouldn't have even got back together if it wasn't for you guys. And you guys wanting them to get back together again. They've left- Oh! Oh my gosh, no, it's breaking my heart. They've left behind a very sad household, but a lot of memories. And this kind of patchwork of a family that would never have been together if it wasn't for the fact that their lives took the route that they did. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode, you enjoyed Emax's story, and you've enjoyed the broken dream that they created together. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!